Gentlemen, I got a turd to bring along to you guys today. Uh, finally, coming up, we're working on the floppy jalopy of a Model 38. Stay tuned. Let's get rolling on this project. So, like I said, uh, and probably as you read in the description, uh, this is a model, a Marlin model 38 in 22 short, long, and long rifle. Um, this poor gun has seen its better days. Um, there's very little collectability left to this firearm. Uh, it's starting to pit and rust. Uh, it, it's been ridden hard and put away wet for sure. The stock is cracked straight down the middle, so there's a crack running down the spline on both sides, and it wiggles and it, it's not good. Uh, it doesn't extract, sometimes it won't fire, so this thing is, uh, the, the, and plus, oh, plus the springs, as you would expect from a 100 year old gun, the springs are just like completely dead. Um, so what's that mean for us? That means we are going to make a project out of her. My plan, take this thing all the way down, uh, do a nice rust blue, uh, refinish the metal, so you, it, pitting is fine, pitting won't bother me, but as long as we can stop the rusting, We'll uh, take the metal down so we can get rid of some of the pitting. Um, do a nice rust blue on the whole thing. Fix the stock. There's a big chip here, a big chip down here, and it's cracked right down the middle. So we're going to have to figure a way to glue it back together and get it held tight again. Um, it's also missing a butt plate. As I hit the wall behind me, it's also missing a butt plate, so I'm going to have to get another one of those. I'll probably try to find one on the internet. Um, if anybody has one, let me know. Uh, I could use one. <laughs> but uh, I'll bring you guys in. I'll show you what we're looking at. And uh, well, let's get started tearing this thing down and uh, get it looking good again. I want it to shoot. I, I love this. I, I've always wanted a gallery gun. So I'm really excited to get this project underway. Let's do it. All right. So today we're going to be finishing, starting and finishing, uh, the stock. This is all going to be one video. It's going to be separated out amongst a couple days, so you'll see my clothes and hat change probably, <laughs> but uh, we're going to do this all in one take if we can. Well, one video if we can. Um, so the old stock is going to have to come off, and then we're going to take the forend off of uh, the pump. And uh, for these broken sections up here, we have a broken chunk there and a broken chunk down here. Um, I went and got a piece of black walnut. Um, if you're looking for hardwood, something like this to redo gun stocks, um, I checked with a local old school, quote unquote, old school cabinet maker that's been around Gainesville for years and years and years. And they actually had a stockpile of good hardwoods in the back. Um, and this broken piece, obviously they couldn't use it because it's got like a big knot in the front. Um, this was sitting there and I think I paid eight bucks for it. So that will repair, I don't know. 30 stocks because all I need is a little sliver about that big. You guys can't see, a little sliver about that big on both sides. So what we're gonna do, take the stocks off, check everything out, and um, we're gonna white the stock because we need to remove all this grease and oil that's in here. So we're either gonna do a whiting or I'll dip it in acetone and let it dry because um, we gotta get it good and degreased before we go adding um, after glass. So let's start with that. Take this down, see what we do. Remember, always get yourself a gun screwdriver kit. If you can avoid using real shitty screwdrivers, do it. Um, something like this one. This is from Chapman. Uh, I'll link it down in the description if you want something like this. It wasn't expensive. Um, and it's well worth finding some screwdriver bits that will fit your screw perfectly and not strip them because that's the big thing is you don't want to strip these screws out. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and take this apart. And God knows when this thing was last taken apart. It is broken, but we'll see. Right, the screw comes out. Stock, there's two tangs, so it should scoot out the bottom. <laughs> and what do we have here? Uh, <laughs> a piece of plastic. <laughs> It looks like a piece of plastic was shoved up in here uh, as a as a redneck spacer. This is a Bubba spacer to keep the stock on tight, even though um, the stock is cracked right half in two, right down the middle. So it has a big crack running all the way up here. Um, that's just a oh, no, a scratch, a crack running down this side, and then a crack running down the top. 
So Bubba, I guess, figured uh, to tighten this back up and take it back out to the range, I'll just put a piece of plastic in there and <laughs> hope it stayed. All right, so there's our real stock. We'll take our pin and run it back through just so we don't lose it. Um, when we go to work on the receiver and everything and re-blew it, uh, we'll take that pin back out. So for the pump, I think we just need to take, oof, that doesn't want to fit. Let me see, you gotta find something to pick some dirt out with. Ooh, that's an awful sound. That screw's a little rusty. The screwdriver might not fit there. Oh, no, we got it. Oh, we may have to cut a new screw channel, uh, flathead channel in there, because it is very, very short. But there we go, screw comes out. A little short screw. Let's see if this is probably. Yeah, that's what I figured. Another one on the other side. Sorry if I'm in the way. I'm trying. Ooh, that one's tight. For a smaller, slightly smaller bit. See if I get a better bite in there. Is it? Remember, a lot of downward pressure while you're twisting. You don't want to strip this screw out. Oh, looks like this is taking crap. A whole piece out. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> so this screw may not want to come out. We may have to put some uh, croil or something on there, and then we'll have to uh, bed this back up. This little bit of wood. Let me see what I got. We'll figure it out. All right. So I got the screw out. And I thought it was sitting into a channel or something, like a liner, um, which actually I think it is sitting into a stock liner, which is, but it's all rusting in place. We may have to either make another one of these or um, try to fix this. And let me see if I pull in real close. You see there, the uh, ring around the outside. I think, as you can see, it's it's got like divots in it. Um, I think that was a, like a ring liner that would hold into the wood and then you would screw into it. But clearly this thing has been rusted in place so the whole liner and everything came out. So what we're gonna have to do now that we have it all apart, we need to get some light. Um, so it did come apart though. Uh, it's just not pretty. Stock forend will come off. And yeah, so here you can see, let me bring this up. Yeah, so here you can see the, uh, what it should have looked like. That little ring should have stayed. This one came out. Um, I'll probably see about in, uh, just buying a new liner, like hole liner and screw, um, and we'll just go from there. But stock and forend, stock and forend are both apart. So we're gonna start working on after glassing this. First, we're gonna soak this in some acetone and see if we can get some of that oil drawn out of the stock before we after glass here. Um, let me bring this up so you guys can see here. I can edit this in, show you guys how bad this thing looks. So there's what the stock looks like now. Um, you can see it's split all through here. It's split up in here on this side. There's that big chunk, ooh, picture in frame. Big chunk right there. You roll it over, there's a big chunk missing there. Um, it's split down this crack right here. Um, so this thing has seen its better days. There's also a split on the inside. This tang section, man, let me try to get down the light so you guys can actually see. That tang section there is broken off, so we're gonna have to re-pin that and glue it. Do whatever we can. Um, the cool thing though, you can barely see it. Oh God. No, yeah, actually there you go, you can kinda see. Um, there's a serial number in there. So the wood has the serial number engraved into it. So I definitely want to try to keep this stock. I definitely want to do my best to keep this stock. I don't want to get rid of it and just replace it. So we're gonna just, basically this whole front end here, going back to about here, is just gonna be <laughs> mostly acrylic glass. But you know what? That's why epoxy was designed. It was developed so we can do stuff like this. This, um, we're going to probably have to also get some of the grease out, sand it down, and then we'll just refinish it. And I will try to find a new, um, piece to go in there. I'm gonna, I'll try taking it off of this screw, putting some croil on it, see if I can take it off. Uh, if that doesn't work, then we'll see about getting a new screw and a new piece, hopefully one out there, somebody makes a reproduction for me. 
So let's get to it. Let's get uh, get this in a bucket and start it soaking. All right, I got the cup and the screw apart. Um, so the cup, I think I could actually salvage this. It's gonna take a little bit of, I'm gonna have to file a little bit off. Um, I damaged it a little bit when I put it in the vise, but I think I can file that down. Plus you don't see it from the top side. So I think what I'm gonna do is file that a little bit just to smooth it out, maybe put some new lines back in it. And uh, we'll then niter glue these um, just to give them a little, little protection from the weather. Um, but the screw looks good too, it's just rusty. So here we go, those came apart. Somebody obviously has uh, attempted this repair before, but I don't think they used any good epoxy. Um, I'll run some footage in of this. Um, you can see the cracks a lot better now. You'll, you'll see in the footage that I roll in. But um, I'm pulling what looks like um, wood glue maybe out of the cracks and they didn't get it very deep. They kind of just put wood glue across the top of the cracks for each crack and then let it dry and then tried putting it back together. So no wonder it cracked again. They didn't really fix it. So anyways, we're making progress. Um, I'm gonna make sure I get all of that excess wood glue back out. And I'm using tweezers to make sure I can peel all of it back out. Cause you can see it all in there. Um, keep at it until we get it clean, get it perfectly clean. It's now degreased at least. So there's no oil left in this stock, which is good. But, um, I'll keep at it. We'll get it. We'll get it done. 